Hi everyone, my name is Shafiq. So I got the opportunity to mix monitors for a band called Slam recently for their concert in Kuala Lumpur. So for this project, the band has uh, requested me uh, in-ear monitoring for their performances, which I have specs for them the 2000 series. So in this video, we're gonna focus more on what we have on the percussion side, what we use and why I chose the particular mics. As for the bongos and congas, uh, the MD421 is a perfect mic for it. It has a good lows, it has a good clarity. Uh, that's why I picked um, MD421 for them. As for the timpani, uh, we clamp on the E904 onto it. It's very straightforward, easy to clamp on, easy to manage. It uh, has a good lows and also has a good clarity on it. Next, we have the E906 on the timbalis, which is also capturing the cowbells. E906 are known for micing guitar amps, but it's also great for percussive instruments, especially like timbalis. As for the toy section, we have um, two E914, one mic for the chimes, and the other one is for overall toys such as tambourine, shaker, triangles, and any kind of uh, small, small toys. So the in ear works well with the musician. Uh, we got RF engineer Arif to help me out on the radio frequency, on managing them. Uh, it's a quite difficult um, RF to manage around this uh, venue. So we managed to get it right. Also for the lead vocalist, um, he got the chance to use the 6000 with the MD445 capsule, which is sounds great for him. Uh, less bleed and very nice clarity. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos just like this.